It's one thing to see a picture, but to have a picture tell a story is a whole other level. Today, we're going to share with you how you can utilize artificial intelligence to not only generate photography, but also have a story behind that photo as well. So, Jimmy, they say that um, a picture is a thousand words. So we're going to leverage AI to a generate pictures today. And this is going to be a little bit of a hands-on thing. And we'll talk through the people that are listening to the podcast. But I'm excited to get into this because I think there's several tools agents can leverage that are into image generation. And the second part, stay tuned for that one, because we're going to show you when you get images, how do you build a story to grab more attention from people that are looking at this? Yeah, the, the biggest thing, Rajiv, you know, is especially in the world we're in today, whether it be marketing wise, where people are just scrolling, these images give us the ability to create things without having to go, you know, we used to have to hire a photographer to go get this. And we're going to talk about some exciting ways that agents can actually start applying this pretty quickly uh, that will create efficiencies. It's going to create those stops we're looking for when people are scrolling. And it's really going to give us the ability to tell a story, which we've never really had the ability to do unless we really took a ton of time. So Raji, yeah. this is going to be one that I know agents will get some value out of. Yeah. So we're going to share the screen and, and we'll release the video portion of this. So if you need to follow along, you can. But we'll talk through it so you're aware of it as you're listening to this podcast. So uh, the first tool that we want to, obviously, we have a little love for Chad GPT, Jimmy, you know? Uh, yes, this, we is where, do. this is where the love story began. <laughs> for the podcast, right. right? Yes. So, so the first thing we want to do is kind of focus on image generation, and then we'll go to writing the story piece, right? So um, I'm going to take a little uh, prompt here, and this is really simply create four realistic pictures of downtown Philadelphia in the fall highlighting the vibrant foliage, city skyline, and the Delaware River. Again, you can tweak the prompt, but the purpose of this is that. So we're going to hit that, and it's going to use Dolly uh, baked right. in, and you need the paid version of ChatGPT. But when I go to the other two I'm going to show you, you don't need the paid one. So we're going to outline that. And Jimmy is going to be the judge today as to which one looks the most realistic. As we demo this, the same prompt we're going to use across three different AI tools. Um, or four different AI tools. So this is going to come back here in a second. And it's has, been... as it's doing this, Raji, yeah. one of the things too is, is obviously, you know, when we have uh, utilized photography before, you know, we, we had to worry about licensing. We needed to make sure that we were giving credit to um, whoever the photographer was. This is going to open up some opportunities here for us to create, you know, just as we're sitting here talking, this creating these four images. But these are images that basically you own at this point, correct? I mean, you're, you're able to utilize these. Yeah. And, and sometimes, you know, as much as I said to give it four, Dolly came back with one. Yeah. Right. So right. Uh, and you'll see, I mean, some of this image generation, unless you go real deep into like mid journey, which is a fully paid for tool, they become right. more realistic. But, you know, this is a good exercise for our audience to see how progress has been made or not made with images. Uh, right. So the next one I want to kind of outline is Meta, which is Facebook. So yes. if you go to imagine.meta.com this is a free tool if you have a meta account you can create one if you don't have one but this is a free tool so i'm going to paste the same thing here jimmy same prompt create a real four realistic pictures of downtown philadelphia in the fall highlighting the vibrant foliage city skyline and the delaware river and this is mm -hmm. meta um mm -hmm. and it has come back with you can probably i'm going to do the third and ask you judge which one's most realistic for you. And you'll see Meta is kind of taking a step of putting a watermark here for AI imagine pictures. I think this is an industry trend that we're going to see more of. Uh, but to your point, there's no copyright. Anybody that generates it can use it, which is the big key takeaway here. So it's showing you four. You can see this uh, skyline, obviously, with a little bit of water and some fall colors, et cetera. The third one we're going to go to is the newest entrance, Jimmy, formerly Bard, Gemini. Right. And we'll do a whole episode on Bard versus Gemini. And images yes. are going to be a part of it. But let's paste the same thing here. And let's see what um, Gemini comes up with. Uh, with pleasure, it says, Jimmy. <laughs> it's my <laughs> honor to generate four pictures. And here you know what's one thing? So, image. Oh, yeah. And look at this. It gives you people in this. I didn't ask for it, but that's an interesting take, right? A little bit uh, people there. I'm going to show you all this because you're my judge today. So yes. um, that's that. 
I love that. Picture. Yeah, these are great. Yes, these are great. Yeah. And for those folks that are listening on the podcast, just so you know, obviously you can see this in the in the um, version that is going to be published. We'll have that in the show notes below. We'll have a link to that video. Yeah. Also, a couple of things. As I'm sitting here looking at this, and as I'm thinking from an agent's perspective, one of the things we've always talked about is is utilizing this. From a standpoint to create opportunities for the agents, one of the things that we've been doing, and I know that your marketing team has been doing as well, is teaching agents how to create engagement on social media. This would be a great topic for you to take these images from these three different places and say, which of these look the most realistic to you? I'm testing some new AI technology and how I can market homes at a higher level and then just set the survey up. Now, this is going to give you the ability to subtly Tell people that you're doing things a little differently, that you're at the tip of the spear as far as the technology. And it's also going to get you some engagement by doing the survey and doing some of those things um, on your social media that's really going to create a little bit of a buzz also. So there's so sure. many ways that we can utilize this in marketing, in promotion, in agent um, interaction with uh, with consumers. There's just so many different yeah. layers to this um, that we are just scratching the surface on it. And you bring up a great point. I, I go on Facebook. Occasionally, I see agents say, do you like picture A, picture B, or picture C, like exactly. kitchen shots and stuff like that. It's a great idea. The last mm -hmm. one I'll show you before we kind of go into creating the story portion of the content is um, if you have Google Chrome, you can turn on Google generative search SGE it's called. I'll walk through how it's done, but I'll paste the same thing in Google. I have it turned on uh, and you will see when I hit the search on Google Chrome, now it gives me an opportunity to say, get an AI powered overview for the search. And it's going to basically use Google's, Again, a Gemini engine within the browser itself. So I don't have to go to mm -hmm. Gemini.com. And there's mm -hmm. my four pictures. Mm -hmm. of, uh, and you'll realize, Jimmy, I mean, if you've not seen it already, as soon as it gets to like automobiles and stuff, some of the physics right. has to get caught up with these large language models. Um, like this one's probably a better shot to take versus this, because mm -hmm. when you get zoom in on the car. But again, this is available on Chrome for all of you. If you have Chrome, you just have to add the generative search experience by going to labs.google.com. And then you'll yeah. be able to just simply flip the switch for Chrome and you'll get this nice little uh, search labs icon. And this is turned on and it's baked into your app on your phone. It's baked into Chrome on your desktop. So now that I've shown you these four, Jimmy, so this is mm -hmm. Google search generative experience. Now let me show you the other three and have you be the judge today. There's a clear winner here, in my opinion. I mean, and this is uh, what's great about this. Yeah, so this um, is Gemini, okay? Mm -hmm, right. And That's then good. you got you got Meta, mm -hmm. right? Facebook, and then you got ChatGPT. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And the winner is, drum roll, please. So two stand out for me that I think could be utilized. Um, Gemini obviously looks tremendous, as well as the Meta surprisingly looked really good to me because it gave some different dimensions there. Um, so I think these are these are the two that stood out to me. Um, and I think as we continue to get plugins, obviously uh, on uh, ChatGPT, that will continue to get better and better. But if you're looking for today. And what would I be doing and where would I go first? It would be Gemini or to Meta um, to yeah. utilize those. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this. When If people are watching this, uh, uh, listening to this podcast like six months from now, that analysis doesn't apply because these things it's, are changing regularly. But as of this podcast, as we're looking at this, the eye test says Jimmy Burgess picks Gemini number one, Meta number two. <laughs> right. I will say... Rajiv, I would love for people, whether they're watching this um, or whether they would email us, I would love to hear what agents are doing as far as how they're utilizing some of this AI-generated photos um, and some of the uh, some of the information, not photos, but just the artwork, the photos, everything they're doing to utilize this in their business. These are things where a lot of times, like with this idea, it's so relatively new that we want to give everybody that's listening to this the opportunity to understand what's available. And then as a community, that's why, you know, this is this is such a community of this and why it's open is it gives us the ability to share these ideas with each other. So we would love to hear from you guys what it is you're doing um, and to utilize this and, and take advantage of this and serve your clients at a higher level, because I think as we can sit here, 
Rajiv, you and I could sit here and just idea share back and forth for an hour on how to use this as agents. But I would love to hear the people that are practically doing it already. And uh, I look forward to getting that, that information out to others as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well said. So now the next topic, as we wind down the podcast, is really about we get a lot of graphics, Jimmy, and, and I'm going to take the example. You and I were on a Keeping Current Matters webinar, right, with David Childers. Right. And he, he shared a couple of graphics that I said, I just took a screenshot because I knew we were going to do this podcast. And now what I, I'm going to do is take screenshots or graphics you receive from your company that you work at with market stats. And how do you build a nice little social copy that creates viral content that supports the image? Because most agents are just simply posting the image, right? So what I want to do now is basically um, take, um, go to uh, my desktop here and actually find that image uh, that I have for, um, if I can find it. You know what's about this? As you're searching for that, let me just say the value of this. Because the way I was taught from a communication standpoint and a marketing standpoint is you always want to show and tell. And so showing the, the graphic, for instance, on the market stats in your area or having the ability to really tell the story, you've taken this to a whole different level because people are typically thinking they're visual or they're, they're thought, they're, they're thinking. And so what you've done is, is you've actually taken what is already powerful as far as the image. And now you've taken it to another level where there's not just an understanding of what this does, but it gives people the ability really to see exactly what it is um, and hear the story behind it. Yeah. So I, I posted the home equity chart, which we'll see here. And I basically said, please write a short SEO optimized Facebook post with the highlights from this image. And we're going to do that here and have it come back and we'll go to Gemini, do the same thing. And we'll look at both. Um, and there's my home equity one. And I have a fun one to finish, Jimmy, a, a recipe that I think you would really like. This is right, so, so practical. Yeah, right? this is so practical. Right, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go back to Chat GPT and see what it did. There we go, discover the strength of American home ownership. A staggering 68.7% of homeowners have paid off their, so what it did, it, it looked at this chart mm -hmm. It combined the 38.7 with the 30, made it 68.7, have at least 50% equity, accurate statement, because 30 were fully paid off and 38 was over. So it is actually reading the image with the data and building a story. Mm -hmm. And I think, mm -hmm. and I think we've set this stage up for with all the four P's and the Rye stuff. You can iterate on this and kind of come up with something you like. You can say, write it in bullet form if you're writing an email blog post there's a we talk about land and expand if you like yeah. this go to other channels but you get the idea here it gives you the can i just share this tag. yeah let me share this real quick for those that are listening to the podcast um it's please write an seo optimized facebook post with highlights from this image you attach the image and that can you can do that with any image especially market stats and this is going to give you exactly what you're looking for it's yeah. pretty amazing yeah, yeah. And let's look at gemini jimmy mm -hmm. and 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 it actually went off the rails a little bit here, it looks like. It took the photo you had before. It Yeah, yeah, it took the photo you had before, but let's see if it did any other drafts. Yeah, it just took the photo before. Let's try it again, yeah. because I think um, I think Gemini does a real good job as well. Uh, um, and let's try it one more time here and see what it does. But But I think the audience is getting the people that are listening, I think, get an idea of what the power of this is. Yeah. Um, there it is. Okay. Um, sure. I like I like the way this is calling out the headline, you know? Right. And right. It, you can put this in your subject line for your email. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's it's giving you bullets. I didn't ask for bullets. Gemini is processing it very differently. And I quite like Gemini over Chat GPT in the content window here. Maybe because yeah. I'm a bulleted guy and not a conversational person. But mm -hmm. all of this again. Here I can, and I like about this is click draft three and you get a different one. Mm -hmm. Now it's quoting the sources. They're all reading the image. They're getting real deep into reading the image. So this is um, putting a story to an image and getting more viral content. So your message goes to more people than just the image that you sent to. Rajiv, last last really point with this is whether you're getting the images from Keeping Current Matters, which gives national numbers or RPR on the local level, 
yeah. taking and downloading those images and those charts that you're provided with once you do your local search and asking it for that SEO optimized Facebook post on that, um, on this image, it's going to do some, give you some amazing results. Again, here, Gemini looks really good as far as the way that it's formatted this. I'm like you, I like the cleanness of this. Yeah. Um, and so I, I think, you know, Everybody needs to try both, uh, but if you're looking for one right now, Gemini really does give an advantage, in my opinion, on providing this. All right, let's do one fun one, Jimmy, for you. Right? This is uh, this is uh, my daughter's favorite uh, recipe. Uh, give me a recipe for the image you see, and this is just so you know, it's bonza bonza pasta, protein rich. So my daughter likes it, but. Let's see what it does here, right? Look at this. Here's I mean, a recipe for creamy tomato chickpea pasta, 110% accurate. One pound dried bonza pasta. It, it's reading the image that you can barely recognize. We're looking at right. the screen. Yeah. We really don't know it's bonza pasta. It looks pasta for sure, but right. look at the granularity of the large language model to look at this. So again, that's a fun one, but you get the idea, image, so if you're sitting at a food place, uh, take a picture, post it, and you got the recipe before you walk out the door, right? Yeah, this so, is so good. Uh, so uh, hope this helps. I think this is. I think vision with uh, AI is underutilized. To your point, Jimmy, from earlier, and hopefully this will kind of get people going in the right direction to embrace AI with vision because picture do tell a thousand words. All right, guys. So wrapping this up, if you would, let us know how you're utilizing. We'd love to hear your stories. Also, if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you go out and that you um, that you follow us on social media as well as this podcast. Where that way you can get the information as we drop a new episode every single Wednesday. Hope you got something out of this. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.